Hi, welcome to this episode of The Daily. My name is Brendan Malone. Well, last week, Disney announced that it was going to be boycotting the state of Georgia, where they do a lot of filming for their, uh, their cinematic properties, uh, if it's signed into law a new religious freedom protection bill. Now, let me just give you a, 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 a statement from this Variety magazine article to explain what this bill does. Uh, the, the bill was uh, signed into, or the bill was passed, if you like, um, by legislators in Georgia a couple of weeks ago, and it's now waiting on the governor to sign it into law. And this is where the threats from Disney are coming of boycott. The bill, the bill would protect religious officials from having to perform same-sex wedding ceremonies, and would allow faith-based organisations to hire only people or to provide services only to people who don't violate their sincerely held religious beliefs. Seems pretty straightforward here to me. It's not about uh, denying people access to services or things like that. Instead, it's simply about allowing uh, religious organisations and persons of faith to maintain their religious integrity and to have uh, their uh, right to freedom of conscience protected and upheld by the law. So people who want to have gay marriages can still do that. Those who don't agree with gay marriage and and believe that there's a theological problem with it, don't believe that is a, is a legitimate thing to engage in, have the protection to go on their way and do their thing as well. Seems to me to be a pretty happy medium, but apparently not for Disney. So Disney is threatening to pull out of Georgia and boycott Georgia because they're claiming this is a violation of human rights and they could never uh, support such a thing. Here's the rather glaring problem though. This is the same Disney Corporation, which is just months away from opening a brand new Disney theme park in Shanghai, China. China, the country which has one of the worst and continues to have one of the worst records for human rights violations. Yes, the Chinese economy might have become a lot more westernized in recent years, but that, that country is still run under a dictatorial regime which regularly denies basic freedoms that every human being should be entitled to, which regularly violates the human rights, including things like forced abortion, denial of religious freedom, etc., etc. This is not a place where human rights are protected and upheld. So I'm sorry, Disney you really are being quite hypocritical in claiming that a bill in Georgia which will actually protect some people's basic freedom of conscience, which is a basic human right, is somehow enough for you to withdraw and start boycotting that entire state, when at the same time you are about to open a massive amusement park and make a lot of money in a society where serious and grave violations of human rights continue to be perpetrated on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily.